hugely exciting. It's, it's something I've, I'm very excited to do and honoured to do. It's a, it's a club that means a lot to me. I haven't been here for a few years and, and been here when maybe the times weren't quite so bright. So to be here now in sort of this amazing stadium with, with the, squ the squad of players that we have, um, yeah, it's a hugely exciting 12 months ahead and, and one I'm, I'm very excited to lead the guys out for. Obviously taking over from two guys who did such a great job last year will make my job slightly easier at the start. But um, it's, it's a club that means a lot to me, so to get the chance to lead the guys out this season is... Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. As you're going into your seventh season now for Wasps, what sort of memories have you got of the captains when you were growing up, coming in as a 19-year-old? Yeah, we were, obviously when I when I arrived, uh, sort of all those years ago, it was um, a squad packed full of talent, packed full of internationals, um, and the, cap the captain at the time then was, was, was Tom Reese. So it was uh, a guy who, unfortunately, through injury, probably didn't. Did, but he, he was someone destined to, to go on and, and win many caps for England, and he, and he was a great captain. So. Um, from him right through to, to Matt and James in, in the last year. We've had some great captains and hopefully I've learned bits and pieces from them along the way and, uh, and hopefully I can put a bit of my own sort of style on things as well. I think my main goal as a captain is to, to go out every weekend and, and play, play my best really. I think um, if the captain's leading by example and, and, and playing good rugby then I think hopefully some of the guys will follow as well and, and, and that's, that's, that's my view of leadership, leading on the pitch and leading well and, and then off the pitch I, I guess just trying to drive standards as best as possible making sure training is as good and as sharp as it can be and, uh, and making sure everyone's happy and, and sort of pushing towards the, the, the right way. It's got to be a te team effort, it's got to be a squad effort. Um, I'll be looking to get advice of, of all the guys across the year. Um, like you said, we're, we're a team full of, full of guys who've played in different leagues across the world and, and lots of different teams. So they've, they've, they've got their own style on, on the way they want to do things and it's important that we all get together and sort of ha have a chat about things and, and really sort of work out what's best for us moving forward. And first up, Exeter Chiefs when the uh, Premiership kicks off. It's a side that we know pretty well by now, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're a bit sick of them. We've play, played against them a lot over the last few months. We had some great, great clashes last year, and obviously to lose to them at their place in the semi-final was was tough to take. It was um, it was a long road getting there. We put a lot of hard work to get there, but they were probably better than us on the day and uh, and won fair and square. So it'd be nice to have them back here. Uh, hopefully, a, a, a Rico was full of noise and full of fans, which would be a fantastic way to start the season.